The best way to become a 10x developer is to teach nine other developers to do your job as well, not to get 10 times better. So let's talk about how you scale your skills by sharing your skills, sharing your experience with other people. My favorite way is pair programming. This is um, not a lot of organizations are super excited about having two developers sat at a computer, but to me, this is the most effective way to share particularly technical skills. When I worked at LMAX, which is a financial exchange in London, we didn't just do it with developers. We paired every day as developers, but we also paired with business analysts. We paired with technical testers. And this way, at the beginning of a story, we might sit down with a business analyst and a tester, and the business analyst would tell us, the developer, what we were trying to achieve and why we were trying to do it, and the tester would tell us all the ways they were going to try and break it. And that way, we could try and actually create something which suited the business purposes that was a quality piece of code. So we used pair programming to share knowledge about, um, about what we were trying to do and how we were trying to do it in the best quality way. Um, during the six months, my first six months at LMAX, I learned more about how to be a good Java programmer than in the previous 10 years working at half a dozen other jobs. Because I worked with these fantastic people, from juniors all the way up to very senior people, and I learned about um, how to be a better Java programmer. I learned the tools that we were using, the IDEs, for example, JetBrains IntelliJ IDEA, just as one of them, as an example. Um, I learned about what our standards were. I learned about the domain. I learned so much about the domain. I learned about the trade-offs that we took when we were implementing something. I knew that the person next to me, I could have a conversation with them about, should we do it this way or should we do it that way? And we would both be bought into the solution that we picked. It was a really, really good way to upskill. It is not two programmers sat at one keyboard where the keyboard is a bottleneck, because the typing is not the problem with the coding. It's all the thinking and all the bugs that you accidentally write into the code, apart from that. So pair programming is, is, in my opinion, the best way to share knowledge around the team, particularly for developers, but not just limited to developers. If you're not sold on pair programming, you could also look at mob programming. So mob programming is like get everyone into a room, have like one remote keyboard, a big screen, and work on a particular problem, whether it's like a, a production impacting big problem or whether it's just a, on a cadence of every few weeks, you just kind of sit down and do some mob programming. This is another good way to all get on board and sort of uh, explore the code together and learn from each other.